With the end of Charlotte, we are now beginning a new YouTube community series. This is called Akashic Records of a something instructor. I'm not sure if I can say that out loud in the intro or I'm going to get demonetized. I have no clue what it is. Maybe it's Isekai. Maybe it's native Isekai. Let's see what you guys got cooked up for me. The monster said that to the mage. That's staff looking fucking sussy as fuck. So some kind of main character reading a storybook of the demon lord versus a mage in the past. There's a girl listening to the kid. Why do I feel kind of bad for the demon lord? Aincrad. Guys. Aincrad Seo. Saza. Sasido. Kayaba. Heathcliff. Jesus! No opening. Floating castle. In the books. <laughs> Copy paste isekai map number 473. Well, that's not isekai. It seems like this is native isekai. This is native isekai map, which is still an isekai, basically. Isekai means otherworlder. Because, like, an isekai place is always a native isekai place, but it's just the main character. Anyways, isekai map. Fejite. Fejite. Some kind of empire. Imperial mages. Horses? No CGI. Oh, thank God. This must be an anime in the past. What, what, what kind of outfit is this, bro? What is this a magician's outfit? Yeah, this helps her cast magic better, bro. Look at everyone else and look at her. Look, look at their business suit attires and look at her, bro. Cat ears. <gasps> wait, they all? That's a school outfit. Stri wait, cause that's a different girl. This shit. Who, who, who designed this school uniform? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Ah. She got healing magic? Because of the academy? Got it. 400 years ago, Empire was created. Academy happened. Forbidden to use magic outside the academy. Blonde girl, Rumia, and uh, this... What is she? Is this a cat girl? What, what, what is she? I don't think girls that wear this is going to a school to study magic, but what the fuck do I know, bro? What what in the fuck is this designs? Rumia? <laughs> but the guy listen, listen, listen. If you're gonna do this to the girls, then fucking whore out the guys as well. Come on. Like you're gonna put the guys in awful clothing and the girls looking like they're about to go put in a strip show? Come on now. <laughs> Lady is Sistine. She's royalty. They are? Like, beyond friends? Yuri? It's gotta be Yuri, right? Like, like I don't know. Rumia and Sistine, they look like... I mean, they're already holding fucking hands, bro. Huey Sensei quit. Who is Huey? That's an instructor? Oh, wait, you're gonna use magic on him? What about the landing? These girls are cunny as fuck. We need to correct them. <laughs> Looking a little tuny. 
He's a bit of an Ikemen, huh? He just did the whole chuni pose. He even has the fucking gloves. Riz? Frog Riz? Hmm. I think that this is... That's a lot of fish and other shit in the fucking uh, the, the fountain, but... This is the lady that was listening to the kid reading the book in the intro scene, right? I think so. You are the traffic, bro. <laughs> Why is he holding his pose like that, bro? <laughs> He's been holding this entire time while like fish is like coming out of his fucking blood crack. <laughs> Is he... is he blackmailing them? <laughs> Careful! Hey, 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 hey. That's that's trap though. That 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 strap is the peak design, right? It's the Shimakaze design from fucking a zero lane, bro. Did this come out before a zero lane? Which one came out first? Actually, how does that even fucking work? Like, what is the point of this outfit? I just don't understand. It's for fan service. Oh, boing. <laughs> Have we met? <laughs> there he goes back into the fountain. That kid's been sussy as fuck from the beginning, bro. He's been looking at the fountain with the most excitement when the sensei was down there. Last time it was his crotch up, this time it's his fucking ass, bro. What's going on? Alright, so Sensei Huey is gone for whatever reason. We have us, the bastard instructor that's gonna be replacing us like a substitute teacher. And then we have elitist teachers who are not, you know, uh, too fond of whatever our new main character is. Sedika or Phonia must be the blonde girl? Yeah, you guys did this to him. <laughs> they have no clue who the instructor is. So when he arrives late, it's gonna be thanks to these two fucking girls. So they're gonna be even more sorry about it. Wonder who are the NPCs and who are the important characters. Roku. Title drop. Not really title drop, but he said it. Big bastard. Why is it a bastard instructor? Is he literally a bastard? Like a son of a concubine? That is about a bastard is, right? I actually never really understand. That, that is what a bastard is, right? It's like you're an Ill illegitimate child. No, oh, ugly bastard yeah, is yeah, a tag, yeah. guys. It's genre on your favorite sites. <laughs> the teacher tried to riz up the students before. <laughs> So on his first day of being a substitute teacher, Glenn is showing up late but also sexually assaulted his students. Nice. Harassing children. Damn, Sistine, relax. Okay, look. <laughs> this is his resume. <laughs> Bro, this is his fucking resume. Personal information. Name Glenn Rodden's age. He's 19. Rank. Tried. Trade? Don't know what that is. Work experience? None in my whole life. How the fuck did this neat get a job? Because of Serika or something. That must be the blonde girl that was in the intro scene when Glenn was reading the book. So Serika and Glenn, there's something special there. <laughs> How to get in here? Nepotism. Oh, the tri day or something is the third rate. Okay, so the bigger the order, the better the magician we are, and we are quote unquote third order. Okay, and there's highest fifth or sixth tier. Oh. Oh my god, he's so good with the chalk. Chakras. Oh my god, he's riding so fast. <laughs> this is the laziest shit. This is the laziest shit. Like, substitute teacher, they just show up. They're like, all right, kids, you know what we do today? I'm gonna put a movie on. I'm, I'm gonna be outside, all right? Watch the movie, guys. Huh? I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> These kids are wasting their tuition money on this. <laughs> Nepotism. 
He said it again. Eleven. So he was a past student here. Nah, he must have been doing something fucking insane, right? So he attended academy from 11 to 15. Maybe Serika like taught him the blonde girl. I don't even know what the relationship is, but she seems to like actually care for him. And then in the four years, he went off to do who knows, and he got super strong and then came back to teach. <laughs> Blonde girl, Serika here. <laughs> Rick is super chill about everything. <laughs> but don't you dare talk. Oh, she must really care about Glenn. Why? What is special about Glenn? <laughs> what kind of magic is that? Hmm. Yeah, why, Serika? Serika, why did you do this? Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. So it sounds like Serika is almost like a godmother, like a stepmom, and like kind of like a guardian took care of Glenn. Glenn must have a really like an unfortunate, sad flashback. His backstory is super sad, something so fucked up. And then Serika brought Glenn in for him to like try to live some sort of like fulfilling life, and that's why she's willing to do all this vouch for him. <laughs> <laughs> probably? What do you mean probably? Is this some super OP shit? Did he just typo? <laughs> no, surely there's gotta be more to it than that, right? That's why he's a substitute. That is true. Honestly, Sistine's not even wrong. Like, imagine you pay money to come to this fucking academy and you're supposed to expect the best kind of teaching and this motherfucker doesn't even know what he's doing. I'd be fucking upset too. <laughs> Just teach yourself. Why do we even come to the academy? Fuck it. Who needs the instructors, bro? If you want to teach myself, I'm going to just let fucking chat GPT and Google teach me. <laughs> what do you mean dictionary? <laughs> Usually it's the kids that run off first and the teacher's like, all right guys, you have homework, but he's like, nah, ring bell, I'm out. Megane. Mm -hmm. No! I see. I see. Sisty exists to have fan service done to this girl, Rumia. Got it. This is 100% Yuri. And all the other girls are watching. Y'all. C come, come on, guy. Surely you didn't recommend me this anime just for this fan service. Right? There's gotta be some really cool stuff that happens, right? There's no shop. This is the extent of this anime because so far, the teacher just showed up, doesn't do shit, and it's just been fan service with the girls. <laughs> Flat! Uh, you know where you are, bro? <laughs> Yeah? Maybe he's cooking. Maybe he is cooking right now. He is right. Why should we be ashamed of you? Guys? You're a goddamn teacher that walked into the fucking girl changing room, but let him cook, let him cook. So I will use this as an excuse to burn this into my eyes. Okay.
Did bro go home early? Mystery of Merugarius Sky Castle, which is the floating one, a promise to the grandpa, and she's royal. And I'm sure Glenn has all that magic you need. I don't think he gives a fuck. <laughs> Dude, Sisti has such an Ojo Sama lunch. Look at this shit. Just like tea, fruit, and some fucking like dessert biscuit stuff. What did Glenn get, bro? What did Glenn get from the lunch menu? God damn, now that's a fucking meal, my man. Yeah, it's free food. It's free food. <laughs> Can I have some? He knows about Kirua beans. Alright. You want my beans? How my beans taste, girl? Oh, they gonna make her gas later. She gonna be like... You know what? Maybe that's why she's flat. Because she only eats this, man. That's why she can't grow malnourished, man. Oh. <laughs> what an insult. Yo, is, is, is he... Is Glenn, like, picking a fight with Sisti right now? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Because <laughs> Sisti is like, ooh, just tea. Alright? <laughs> Glenn's like, yo, I took that fucking personally. I'm gonna fucking fight this girl in the cafeteria. You know what? This girl in the background has been holding this pose the entire time. The middle one. The one with the hand on her face like this. And she's always blushing. What is going on with that one, man? Oh. I don't think she did. Have more beans. <laughs> she just stealing a snack? <laughs> He's a substitute teacher. He knows he's not qualified. <laughs> Don't force re reality on someone who's trying to act cool. At least he's aware. Oh? You wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't want to work at all. Whoa! Return thyself to the cycle of providence, the five elements. Oh, this is an incantation. Okay, I thought she was giving us a fucking order. I'm like, what the fuck? She was speed casting. I thought she was giving us orders on what to do. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude. Uh, I mean, that's your house, but okay. I like Serika. Serika's nice. Even though she tried to kill us there. Self study again? He can't even write self study anymore. It just becomes shorter and shorter. Ooh. My father. I bet that she can't though. And he doesn't even want to be here. Because like I bet Serika's like rule is overrides the royal. Actually, I don't know. Is Glenn gonna be like, yes, please get me fired? <laughs> they don't know. They don't fucking know that we don't want to be here, bro. He's like, please get me fired. Please call your dad. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Oh! Duel? Duel. Yo, when you throw a glove at someone's face, we doing a duel. Holy shit, it's happening. Oh, this is going to be good. Finally, we can see what Glenn's about. God damn. No, I want to see this duel, man. I think that's reasonable. 
He's not gonna. I mean, the cameraman's being very sussy right now. Do you think that Glenn would do that kind of shit? I don't know. If he wins, there's no way he's gonna resort to some creepy shit, right? But then, like, he's supposed to be a bastard instructor. <laughs> Content for magic. <laughs> this the backstory? So, duel is happening. And as soon as, you know, Sisti was telling Glenn about how he has, like, no love for magic, right? Because it seems like he doesn't want to teach. Therefore, she's jumping to the conclusion that he has content for magic. And then, backstory, a silver-haired girl with the mark on her face. I don't think we've ever seen her yet. Who knows? I don't know. This is something about Glenn's flashback, right? This isn't, this isn't really related to Sisti, right? I don't know what this is about. Hmm. That mark. <laughs> Correction time. <laughs> she finally had a line. Bro, these two girls, they're just holding a holding hand. These, are, these two are too fucking cunny, bro. I really like the one on the left, man. <laughs> <laughs> Megane. <laughs> and so far, his only lies has been something after like doing a Megane tilt. He's like the most stereotypical anime Megane so far, bro. It's every time he's in the corner just doing something like that. Like no one is talking to him. No one has ever mentioned him. But then he has like random comments he makes on the side after going like this, bro. <laughs> All right, dual time. Let's go. Just our classes watching. <laughs> Got it. The challenge makes the rules. ショックボルトだけって判定をつけてくれたのかしら。ショックボルトは確かに汎用魔術だ。オフの鬼する。ショックボルトの魔術。基本的に呪文は相手より早く唱えるかです。そう、じゃスピードキャストで。映像の速さ
a shit bastard instructor. <laughs> And I kind of did too, and that's called the unmotivated bastard. And not sure how to feel about this, because obviously this episode is not really painting the full picture of what this anime is, right? This is quite the hook so far. Because in any kind of power fantasy setting, right, the main character kind of comes in, everyone thinks that he's not a big deal, there's a bunch of prejudice, there's a bunch of bullying and whatnot, and maybe something like a duel happens where he gets to shine and everyone can see what he's worth. But he doesn't. He doubles down on his just being a bastard, and he just can't even speed cast, and he runs away. I... there's gotta be a different reason. So... If speed casting, which seems important right now, is something that MC can't do, that must mean there's something more valuable than speed casting that Glenn can do that not everyone else can, right? It's gotta be that, or he's just fucking faking it. I don't know why he would be faking it. In terms of the plot, so it seems like a long time, there, there's this book, right, that Glenn was reading with, like, I got Celica there, and something about, like, a demon lord and some kind of mage that did this shit. There's, like, a royal family that Sistine is in, and there is this floating castle that needs to be, like, reclaimed or something. Sistine seems to have some kind of responsibility, and in order, in order for her to do that, she needs to learn, like, magic, which I assume Glenn has, but at this rate, I'm not so sure. Bro doesn't even want to be here. Serika made Glenn be here so that he could have a fulfilling life, yet he's asking Sistine's dad to get him fired. I mean, the show is living up to the episode title, right? It's an Akashic Records of a bastard instructor, and he's being a bastard, but hey, I have faith that he's actually built different, and we'll see what the actual twist is next episode but that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care